Well, obviously, we're, we're disappointed. We came in um, playing really good. Uh, I thought Ole Miss did some really good things, especially uh, offensively uh, against a guy who has been really, really good on the mound all year, and they did a nice job. Offensively, we came out uh, very double uh, first at bat. We were able to get him around to score, and then um, and their guy just kind of shut us down from that point on. Coach Case, could you talk about being in the elimination bracket and what your mindset is now? Well, I think, you know, for us, it just becomes try to make it to the next game. You know, as I told them, it's been a while since we lost a game, but we did lose one about three weeks ago. And what, to me, the, the idea is now to get back on track and just try to find a way to stay alive. So I, there's, there's, uh, we were, we're playing very, very good coming into this tournament. Tonight wasn't one of our better nights. But there's no reason for me to think that tomorrow won't be a much better day. Jim, it looked like Garrett maybe had more walks than statistically he's had. Was that a product of the environment, or what did you think of his act? It, it might have been. You know, that's that's one of those things that's hard to tell. He has uh, he's been very very good this year at making the other team swing the bats. I didn't think that he was all over the place by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought the umpire did a good job. I thought he called. Uh, the strike zone. I thought that uh, the ones that he called balls were balls, you know, and and uh, I thought Ole Miss did a good job. I thought there were several pitches that uh, generally we've had swung at, especially breaking balls that were down that weren't down a lot. Uh, that they did a good job of taking those pitches and working him. Nick Trey, from your perspective, what was Etheridge doing so well tonight? Kind of hard to get hits against him. Uh, in my opinion, uh, he didn't he didn't miss over the heart of the plate. Uh, generally, whenever you're facing somebody, they'll make some mistakes over the middle of the plate that you can take advantage of. And I feel like there was only a handful, if that, that he did that I thought he really located, commanded both sides of the plate with both pitches really well. Um, as an experienced guy, I mean, I feel like he lived on the outside when he had to live on the out outside. And when he had to throw his breaking ball, he got it over for a strike. And he just pretty much commanded his own will. For both players, could you talk about what your thoughts are going into tomorrow's game? Uh, I don't think that we'll – I mean, we're disappointed now for sure. Uh, it's always disappointing, especially losing a game in that fashion. But uh, I don't think we're down on ourselves, really. We won't be down in the dumps. We'll definitely be coming out. We know we've been playing good ball the last few weeks, and we're definitely going to come out ready to play tomorrow and face on – take on Illinois and try to get back on this – get the train back on it. As Coach K said in our uh, post-game meeting, all we can worry about is tomorrow now. I mean, that game is in the past. It's obviously, like Nick said, disappointing. But I mean, all we can focus on is Illinois now. Coach K, do you know anything about Illinois yet? No, I mean, we, you know, in the past week, we've tried to gather some information and we saw them play. Obviously, we know they are a very good club. We, we know probably uh, less about them than we know about the other two, but we do have some information on them and have seen them play.